Okay, so we're factorizing quadratics again, but this time we're doing it uh, with a common factor. So there's just going to be an extra step at the start here. Now, this brings together pretty much all of your knowledge that you've got into one, uh, one little question. So, first of all, I just need to run you through something that you've clearly seen before. Uh, 4x plus 12. Now, in order for you to factorize that, you can see that they both of these terms have a common factor of 4. So you bring 4 out the front, 4 times what makes 4x is x, and 4 times 12 makes 3. Now this can also be done with uh, something like, say, uh, something a little more complicated, 4y plus 8x plus uh, 16. Now in this case there's three terms, 1, 2, 3, but they all have a common factor. They all have a common factor of 4. So we can bring 4 out on the outside, and 4 times what makes 4y 4y, 4 times what makes 8x, that would be 2x, and 4 times what makes 16, 4. Uh, so the first little piece of uh, knowledge you're going to have to have, or the skill you're going to have, is being able to factorize something with three terms in it. Uh, so I'm going to jump straight into my example here. You can see that I have three terms. 3x squared plus 24x plus 36. Now this one's a little bit different to the ones that you've done previously because the a value is not equal to 1. In all the other videos, you've, in all the other questions you've done so far, the a value's been 1. Now what you should also see straight away, and this is something you're going to be on the lookout for, is that each of these terms has a common factor. And that common factor is 3. So what I'm going to do is take 3 out on the outside and then ask myself the question 3 times what makes 3x squared x squared 3 times what makes 24x that'll be 3 times 8 and 3 times what makes 36 that'll be 12 okay now really think about what you've got here you've got the number 3 times by this whole quadratic, x squared plus 8x plus 12. So now what we can do with that quadratic is go through that whole AC method that we've talked about. An A value of 1, a B value of 8, and a C value of 12. Our AC number is 1 times 12, which is 12. Now we need two numbers that when added together make 8, and when multiplied together make 12. Now have a good think about it for a little bit. You can uh, list them out 1 times 12, 2 times 6, uh, 3 times 4. You can see that this is going to be our answer here. 2 and 6, 2 and 6. So now we can, the thing in the brackets, we can decompose x squared plus 2x plus 6x plus 12 and now we can do that whole factorizing thing that we did in the brackets last time you can see that there's an x there uh, now these brackets are going to get nested so it's going to be a little bit ugly here now there's going to be a repeated factor of x plus 2 oops hopefully you picked up my mistake there that shouldn't be 16 that should be 12 fix that up and we've got a repeated factor here so x plus 2, we multiply that by 6, and that'll give us 6x plus 12. Okay, and finally, that x and that 6 get joined together. x plus 6, x plus 2. Now, I've put too many brackets in here. What it should really end up looking like, just get, get a good idea of what it looks like, 3 bracket x plus 6, x plus 2. Now you really could have jumped straight from this step all the way down to this step. So there's really only two steps here. First find your common factor, which was 3, then you've got, sorry, which was 3, and then you've got this thing. Use your puzzle over here to figure out what your two numbers are. In this case it's 2 and 6. And then you can put 2 and 6 into your brackets there. Okay, make sure you give these a try. Uh, watch this video, try some questions, see how you go, and make sure that you come to class on Friday prepared to work. Alright, I'll see you then.